Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by edtechnocation.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to plead the case for why teachers and students might want to consider keeping email notifications in Google Classroom turned on. Um, I get a lot of questions and a lot of complaints from teachers and students about how the emails they get from Google Classroom just flood their inbox and it's just too many emails to control and manage and most people just prefer to turn off that option and not receive emails at all. But uh, the emails that you receive in Google Classroom do have a lot of really useful information um, and you may want to reconsider um, turning off email notifications. Um, so as you can see here in this student account, um, I have a student who's a member of two classes, uh, Friday class and practice class. And uh, he's receiving um, a bunch of emails already from classroom from those two, those two classes. And um, you know, depending on how many classes students are in, they can get a lot of email notifications. And um, I don't blame them for uh, wanting to get rid of them. Right? But instead of turning it off altogether and not receiving them, you can uh, you can encourage your students to um, filter and label their email so that they're better organized, um, so that their inbox isn't so cluttered, and so they still have access to those emails that contain really useful information. Um, so if I were to open up, you know, one of these new assignments down here, right, this particular email is about a new assignment and contains the name of that assignment, contains the due date, has the instructions from a teacher, and has a direct link to the details of that assignment. That's some very useful information, especially if a student has to manage several classrooms at their school. So getting rid of these emails may not be the best idea. Okay, but we can um, organize these emails within our, our Gmail account. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so first you want to set up some labels. So I'm going to click on the more and create a new label and I'll call this classroom. Okay, and now I have the classroom label. And I could filter all of these emails into that one label. Okay, that, that might be one option. Okay, I'm going to take it a step further and create uh, a couple of sub-labels to further organize all of these email notifications that I'm receiving. So within that classroom label, I'm going to create or add a sub-label. I'm going to do one for announcements. I'm going to create a couple more. Speed this along. All right, that was quick. So now I have four sub-labels, one for announcements, assignments, comments, and graded return work. And so I can further organize all of these emails into those individual sub-labels um, to better organize the notifications that I'm receiving. So let's take this new assignment as an example. Okay, I'm going to filter any new assignment emails into the assignments label. So if I open up this email, I, uh, I'm actually going to filter these by some information in the subject line. And I, the information I'm going to use to filter is this piece here. So if you highlight that and copy it, new assignments colon, then we're going to create a filter based on that piece of information. So in the more menu, you're going to choose filter messages like these. And instead of filtering by the email, we're going to filter using that piece of information from the subject line. I'm just going to paste that directly in there and create a filter. And as you notice in the background, those, uh, um, the emails have been reduced to just those emails that contain that piece of information. Okay, and for this filter, we can also uh, uh, set up some options. So I'm, I don't want these emails to go in my inbox anymore. So I'm going to completely skip the inbox, and I'm going to apply the label Classroom Assignments. And uh, I'm, ne I'm not, never going to send it to spam. And uh, you may or may not want to um, always mark it as important. That's up to you and uh, your students. And I'm going to apply this new filter to the two matching email conversations in the background. Don't forget that. That'll, uh, that'll push in any emails you currently have into that new uh, filter. And when I create that, it's going to apply that new filter. It's going to remove them from the inbox and place them in that sub-label under my classroom label. And there they are. And any new assignments that I get in will automatically be moved to that sub-label assignments and will not exist in the inbox anymore. 
Okay, so that's a great way to um, automatically clear the inbox, but hold on to those Google Classroom email notifications because of the important information that's contained within them. Okay, um, qu uh, any new question-based assignments, you may also want to filter those into the assignments folder, but those emails come in with a, a different piece of information in the subject. So I'm going to filter it based on new question colon and run through those filter steps again. Erase the email, filter by subject, paste in that piece of information, and skip the inbox, apply the filter, never send a spam, apply it to that one matching conversation back there, and create. Okay. And now any new assignment or new question will all automatically filter into that assignments folder. And I would uh, rinse and repeat for any new announcements, any, any new returned and graded work, and any new um, emails based on, on private or public um, uh, comments in the classroom. Right, and that's how you can uh, hold on to those email notifications but gain a better control of them for Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.